What exactly makes it so magical is, is obviously very difficult to explain just because it, it's magical. The first vines were planted here by the Romans over 2,000 years ago. The generations who have worked this land since are the custodians of a reputation built over centuries. Red Obsession takes us on a journey from Bordeaux to Beijing. Right now, I think everyone has the wine fever. Here to give us a taste of his new film, Red Obsession, is writer, producer, and director Warwick Ross. Thank you so much for joining us today. So I had the great pleasure of uh, screening your film, Red Obsession. Wow. Of course, I'm a wine lover, but man, you did a really great job. Why don't you give the audiences here a sneak peek of what we can expect when we watch the film? I've been a filmmaker for many, many years, but I've been a winemaker for the past 10 years. So the idea of doing something about Bordeaux and China was really intriguing for me. I had the opportunity of being in both Bordeaux and Hong Kong last year. When I was in Bordeaux, it's so slow and there's sort of a a different pace in Hong Kong everybody's moving and they're fast but they all kind of want the same thing right they love the same product one of the most interesting things about the film is the clash of cultures I thought you did a really good job of tackling like really challenging subjects one Bordeaux what makes it so amazing what makes it so unique so the classification system which could be complicated for people who don't know anything about wine and then why China you know what what's going on with China here so who's your audience I'd seen quite a few wine documentaries before and they're made essentially for, um, for wine buffs. And this film had to be more than that. And the China aspect allowed us to broaden the film out and, make him, and try and make it a little bit more universal. We think we cover Bordeaux pretty well, but segueing onto China allowed us to make the film broadly appealing. We're very happy to sponsor one of the best events in China this year. And we are very, very happy to be there with so many beautiful girls. The idea was to promote the beauty of women in China and to promote the beauty of wine from France. We've got our screening here in Berlin on the 13th, and uh, we're lucky enough to have uh, Thomas Deroux from Chateau Palmer, who's agreed to come to the opening and bring some of his Chateau Palmer in Magnum to serve to the uh, very lucky 200 guests at the end of the screening. Wow, you are lucky, huh? When can we see it in the States, and will he bring the Magnum with him? <laughs> Well, I'll ask him if he'll do that for you. Uh, <laughs> the Australian opening is going to be June at the Sydney Film Festival. And the States, I'm not quite sure at this stage. I would say somewhere between now and the middle of the year. What do you hope that people take away after they view the documentary? I think that's a really good question. If you ask me, does this film touch on greed and arrogance and hubris? Well, I'd have to say it does. So uh, how did you get Russell Crowe on board? Did you give him a magnum of uh, Chateau Petrus or what? <laughs> <laughs> Russell is the friend of my executive producer, Rob Coe, and I suggested to Rob that we might like to make an approach to Russell. And Rob did, and Russell was very good and said, yes, he was very happy to do it. He does love his wine. It's an opportunity to be able to do something which feeds into his passion as well as our passion. It just worked out really well. What's some uh, favorite bottle you've ever had or memorable wine moment? You know, we Australians make pretty good wines these days. And I was having a chat with Russell sometime Killed Grapes is one of his favorite wines, and it has to be one of my favorite wines too. It's a Henschke Shiraz from South Australia. It is a superb wine. I think that rates, you know, up in the top sort of 10 wines for me. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Best of luck uh, at the film festival, and thank you for letting me screen the film. It was fabulous. Great, Lee. Thanks very much for your interest. To, to make a great wine, it's not only a great terroir, a great chateau, it's a great vintage, but then it's the human factor, you know, you need love. Uh, you, you need to bring so much love to, the, to, to, the, to your vines, to your vineyard. One berry out of 250 is nothing, especially when you think of those uh, thousand millions of berries in the vineyard, but it's the love you bring through that gesture, you see, that's very important.